Alright, for the guys that are watching this, the new people that are watching this, let me guys give you guys a rundown for the new viewers. This is the rise of Hustoop, the journey of me, Moses619, a journey from being homeless to a millionaire and creating Hustloop, the YouTube channel and the social network, the new community. <laughs> Nope, I didn't, using a camera. So make sure you don't say nothing illegal. Make sure you tell him to don't take, stop taking his side. He almost attacked him. Sir, yeah. No. So why are you gonna leave the part where he almost attacked him? It's on the camera. Sure. He 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 threatened sure. to attack me. Why didn't sure. you leave that Talk part away? Okay, me. I'm gonna tell you another Talk part. Okay. So can you, that guy. Can you, can yeah. You start from the beginning, okay. So she approached him. I told him whatever. So I'm leaving and I come back and talk to that guy. Tell him he's doing racist stuff and he took his backpack and he's about to attack me. She, why didn't she tell you that stuff? part? This no, no. Doing stuff? It doesn't matter. But he tried to attack me. Okay. He took his backpack out and went my way. Got it. And she didn't want to talk about that part because she, she's taking his side. How come she didn't leave that part out? Okay, sorry, and he, hold on a yeah. Calm down. Thank you. No, sorry. Okay, so pause. Okay, so pause. Yes. We can get this all sorted out, okay? I'm not even involved with this, so. No, but you, you got to understand things are moving pretty quickly, right? And she's dealing with three people at once. So maybe she didn't see everything that was happening at the time, okay? So that's why we're slowing it down. I'm asking you what happened starting from the beginning because maybe she didn't know everything that was going on from the beginning, okay? Yeah. So now that we started over, you're saying that you had an issue with this man right here. Did it become physical? No, he way? was trying to make it physical. Okay. You can look at the camera. He okay. was, he can't control his temper. Got it. So He did the same thing because they're all, I'm not sure if they're intoxicated. Got it. But I was just taking his side because he's a brother, and I felt like he was being, he's being, uh, he's being, uh, instigated on. Uh, did I commit any crime? No, I'm not saying you did. I just want to, I just want to have some information so that if this comes back later, I can say I spoke to so and so. Okay. I can't do that if I don't know who you are. So may I just give you some ideas? Yeah. Okay. So the original incident was with this other person and this person, correct? And you wanted to help him, so you stepped in the middle. Yeah. He attempted to get physical with you. And that's threatened what, me, too. He threatened you. Okay? Yeah. And, and which way did he threaten you? you? It's on camera and everything. I don't want to okay. press charges, though, because he didn't do nothing too much. Okay. So I just no need for me to press charges. Sure. He's trying to be helpful, but that's why I don't want to so press charges on him. in this situation, with what he did to you, you do not want to press any charges against no, him? No, he wasn't, he didn't do nothing too, like, too okay. crazy. He's just being a tough guy. Okay, well, I'm just making sure you're not a victim of any kind of crime. Okay. okay? Thank you for letting me know that. Walking around in San Diego State. It's a good place. But, man, I have suspicions here that the, the police here are some racist motherfuckers. I just always feel like they're on me and shit. I got off the phone earlier. I was speaking to, uh, see, I, I, I was networking. I called up some people in San Diego. I was talking to my boy, Manny. He, he, he they're, they are a, they're like a small, they're like a, a group, an entertainment group. They do pranks and they also throwing up parties in San Diego. It's called Bag Nation. The, um, Diego TV, the Instagram channel, it's a big one. I'm gonna put the link for my boys Back Nation on the below this video because there's really the all four of them do biz. I mean, all four of them, all of them actually do business, so they're really entrepreneurs and they got a certain energy about them. I was talking to one of them, and his name is uh, Manny from Back Nation, and uh, he, I told him some ideas I had for him, and it seems to work. My ideas seem to work. Before this, I was creating, before Hustloop, I was actually creating an artist channel too called Hust Nation, where I was going to promote artists 
in San Diego and try to conquer the city so that I can blow me up to other places. But I didn't want to do Hush Nation because, uh, because I just like too much work. So if anybody that's listening to this that want to collab with me with uh, Hush Nation, that want to work with me, be my partner, hit me up, email me. It's on my, if you go to my channel or just comment below or go to my channel and my about me, you're going to see, you're going to see Hush you can email you contact me through the email please you know entrepreneur man i'm on that silicon valley type shit the next big idea on valley I always since i was young man i used to like silicon valley i always wanted want to go there so i was told him about that he liked that idea just picked up some products this right here i, I paid like for this right here some products some medical products this right here cost me Right now, I paid 120 for them, and I'm about to make, I'm about to double that profit and make 120. And that took me like 30 minutes to go pick it up from him. If I had a car, it would have took me like 10 minutes. Easy. And then this bag right here, and also what I got right here, attached to my backpack. That's, that's another bag. That, that's around like 60 bucks profit. This is 120 profit, so it's around 180 profit in a short amount of time. Yeah, boy, it's rising. All oh, this money got me sick. This payment from today, it, I finally, damn, it's crazy. I finally, no, I don't have no, no more credit. I owed a lot of money in the credit. I owed like, like around like $800 of worth of credit. And it's hard for a man if you, it's hard to pay that off because I don't make a lot of money, man. Now I'm I'm starting to do it now with the uh, the medical flipping business I'm doing. It's starting to get up there, and you know, stuff moment like this is what makes me think it's possible. Like you know, and now I I have this is what makes it possible because a moment like this I use this as a like success, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. So like. Now I owe, not only owe zero, but I'm, I'm positive 200 up now. That means I have $200. Now I have extra money on my bank account. I think I, that's, I hadn't had that happen in years now. Like to be positive, I usually always owed money. I'm, I'm sure all you entrepreneurs out there, you guys had that time where you you're just like, why am I doing this? Is this even possible? Like the doubt just hits you that one day it comes to you like, wait, what, what am I doing? This is, there's no point in this, you know. And even the hard days, you know, I look at myself, I think to myself, I'm black or I'm African. You don't see a lot of people doing this, like that. That like I, I see that a lot of times. But when I, you know what I try to tell myself, man, I was the number one seller in an affiliate network and doing internet marketing. I was the number one seller for a week, and the, the manager told me he. I'm the most advanced one he's seen and the fastest one to succeed. He never seen that before. So I always use that as like a, a my uh, as my leverage to remind me that it is possible that I can do it, you know? Moments like that, even my successes from the past, I try to always use that it, when when the darkness comes and I start having negative thoughts. All right. So what you see in front of you let me take you to my little studio. So, you know, I'm a producer, been doing this for 10 years since high school. And I'm going to get to the point and let you guys hear the song I made. This is an older song. And, uh, like, I like to make, my favorite type of beats to make is that dark, trap, aggressive, serious type beats. You know, like, some serious, aggressive, hard stuff. But... Back in 2018, I wasn't really doing that. I was working on a different type. And this beat you're going to hear is more of like... The beat you're going to hear right now, it's more not... It's more like uh, chill and like uh, cool. Not really dark and aggressive. 